Bobby Dunbar vanished in 1912. His reappearance would lead to a custody battle, possibly wrong convicted man, and an incredible DNA test 90 years later. A young child goes missing. The whole country starts looking for him, and eventually the family gets him back, only to realize that he wasn't their kid after all. No, this isn't the invasion of the body snatchers or an episode of the Twilight Zone. Man has boundaries with that of imagination. Your next stop, the Twilight Zone. But an actual event that happened in Louisiana in 1912 to the Dunbar family. And in the end, the truth was stranger than fiction. Welcome to Video Central. Join us as we take a look into the mysterious disappearance of Bobby Dunbar, the boy who vanished and came back as a new child. On August 23rd, 1912, the Dunbars went on a day trip to Swayze Lake in Louisiana. As the family played in the water, suddenly little Bobby, only four years old, disappeared. Lessie and Percy Dunbar searched everywhere for their boy but were forced to call the authorities after their search turned up nothing. The local police and eventually the state police began a statewide manhunt for the boy. They caught and dissected alligators and threw dynamite into the lake hoping it would eject the body from the water. None of their efforts worked. Eight months after Bobby's disappearance, the Dunbars received good news. A boy matching Bobby's description had been found in Mississippi. William Cantwell Walters, a traveling handyman, had been seen with the boy. When authorities caught up with him, he claimed the boy was Charles Bruce Anderson, the child of his brother and a woman who worked with his family named Julia Anderson. He claimed that the boy, who he referred to as Bruce, had been left in his care by Julia while she left to go look for work. Many residents of the town backed Walters' story up, but the police still arrested him and took the boy into custody. At this point, the Dunbars were fully confident that the child was indeed Bobby Dunbar. He had returned home and was playing with his brothers and showed signs of remembering things at the house. Because of this, Walters was convicted of kidnapping and spent two years in prison for his crime before his attorney appealed. Due to the cost of the first trial, the court declined to try him again. Until the end of his life, he maintained his innocence in the case. By now, it seems that everything was well and good. Bobby had been reunited with his family and was was adjusting well. He grew up and got married, eventually having four children of his own before his death in 1966. Though he had been told of the events that happened during his childhood, family members recounted that he always maintained that he knew who he was and that he was Bobby Dunbar. In 2004, Bob Dunbar Jr., son of Bobby Dunbar, consented to a DNA test. His daughter, Margaret Dunbar Cutright, had been investigating the events and wanted to prove once and for all that her grandfather was Bobby Dunbar. The DNA from Bob Dunbar Jr. was compared to the DNA from his cousin, the son of Bobby Dunbar's younger brother. The test was conclusive. Bob Dunbar Jr. was not blood related to any of the Dunbar family. The boy the Dunbars had claimed as Bobby Dunbar all those years ago was, in fact, Bruce, son of Julia Anderson. The Anderson family was thrilled as they felt the test vindicated their claim. The Walters family as well was overjoyed as the evidence exonerated the kidnapping claim against William. As for the real Bobby Dunbar, his fate is still unknown. Margaret believes that the child fell into the lake and either drowned or was eaten by an alligator. Authorities claim that they found footprints leading away from the lake and that they heard claims from locals that a suspicious looking man had been seen carrying him away. The rumors were never confirmed. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you have any suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. And if you're new to this channel, click the subscribe button as we'll be uploading more videos like this in the future. Bye guys!